In the previous tutorial, we inserted this type of sheet with the ANSI standard. So now it's time to choose the view you want to insert here. So it has a different approach if you are familiar with Katia or SolidWorks. In Katia, you have the icons to the right side where you are able to select front view and then automatically get your your view on the sheet but in inventor you have the pace it's called pace where you are going to select your pace view it's up to you to select the top view front view or whatever so let's activate the pace and now you will need to browse for your assembly file so that is not the found in Katia because it's because in Katia you directly get the file the open file in your drawing so here you are able to select the open for example I have part open and I have assembly so I want the assembly also you are able to browse for another files and here you are going to choose your orientation or your base view so you have the beginning the fronts the current the top view and so on so mostly chosen to be the front and here you have the button the scale you know how you want to show your files so i'll give it the original scaling and here you have the style how you want to show your part so i'm going to use the hidden lines when i'm done press ok so now i'm able to place the front view and project the right view and then the top view and here you have the isometry so so let's first before projecting select the part and move it to corner of the sheet so you notice the border around you are able to move so when you are placing your front view in the place you want you are able to project it again you could also project it in the beginning when you insert it but i clicked escape because we wanted to place it in the corner here and then you have the projected view so you select it then you are going to project your part of on the top and then the isometric and when you are done right click create so have your created views so i'm going to control z and make it from painting paste and select the hidden line front then be sure that Now we have the hidden line. Isometric. When you are done, right click create. So now you place it 